What were just a couple of memories that, you know, maybe first thing that come to mind that you think about when you think about Wheaton Athletics and your experience here? Well, you know, I was thinking about that when I came tonight, and I was actually uh, going to talk about some of the uh, inductees, but the one that I really remember, if any of you know the Kim Sears, who was a field hockey softball player, mm -hmm. she was an amazing hitter and a pitcher, and in the first World Series that we went to with her, in the bottom of the 11th inning, against the defending national champion. She hits a home run uh, over the right field fence to win the game for us. Two games later, she comes back, hits another one that they measured it out. It goes over 320 feet. You know, just a mammoth blow, you know, to tie the game up. So that's just one that come up right at the top of my head. And then, you know, you look at the growth of every one of our programs and, you know, Lynn Miller winning the New Mac for the first time ever and going to the NCAAs. And, you know, that's been a hard program, you know, to coach two sports and, you know, and, and have all of that and do all the recruiting. And so to watch her the first time when she won it, you know, when it was over with the jump for joy and, and go with those young women to the uh, to the NCAAs, you know, the first time. Mm -hmm. That's something I really remember is every team that goes for the first time, they've heard from all of our many other teams here that have gone, mm -hmm. you know, and their eyes are about this big, <laughs> you know, and the coaches sometimes are too, you know, and I just tell them, you know, enjoy the moment, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, it's important to be prepared, but, you know, enjoy that moment and to watch them, the excitement they've all had, having that opportunity and or we to be able to give them that opportunity. It's, it's really been, you know, uh, a good thing, something I've really enjoyed. They asked me earlier in this little interview I had to do, this is not part of my speech, but, um, you know, what was your favorite memory? And, oh, well, I already heard about your home run at the World Series. You know, Chad told me that. And so I'm like, well, you know, is it bad to say that my favorite memory is when he took us to Red Lobster in Wisconsin? Because who went to Red Lobster in Wisconsin? <laughs> so, anyway. Talk about those national championships, being able to win that, you know, to have that honor. What, what's that like? It was incredible. You know, um, the head coach at the time made it very clear to us when we came in as freshmen that you are part of something a lot greater than yourself. And if you can rise to the challenge, you too will be great, like your, you know, like previous athletes. And so there was a lot of pressure um, coming into the team, but it was also an opportunity, you know, and it was a challenge. And um, a lot of us rose to that challenge, and I rose to that challenge, and yeah, I had nothing but, but good memories. I'm just kind of talk about things that Coach Pavelski helped you that you think was a huge key, maybe there was one or two things that he really helped you with as a student athlete that got you in the direction of where you are, where you are currently. Well, I mean, it, we don't have enough tape, trust me, to, to, to talk about everything he helped me with. More than anything, he, he taught me how to, how to just kind of roll the roll the punches, just remain even keel. You know, there's so many ups and downs in baseball, and, and he, he taught me how to be a man. Uh, you know, I, I grew up here, and, and uh, he was a... He was a great coach and, and not only baseball but in life too. So uh, you know I'm I'm really happy to come back. I'm awed, I'm humbled, and I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm awed to be included among the very first honorees of the Wheaton College Yellow Hall of Fame. I'm humbled to be among so many outstanding athletes. And I'm quite embarrassed because truth be told. I don't even remember seeing a tennis court at Wheaton. <laughs> I asked friends and they don't remember me. <laughs> Penny, sum up 34 years of one's life in four minutes. Hold on, have four minutes. Maybe five. Oh, okay. <laughs> the better question is, what keeps someone working at a place for almost 34 years? I could say that it's the humongous salaries offered at Wheaton. <laughs> <laughs> or the manageable workload, but long. <laughs> the short answer, however, is having an opportunity to work with uh, some incredible student athletes over the years. Many of them who are here tonight, Anzar Chinoba, Maya Nasse, Old American Pine Payman, uh, some others who are here, uh, Greg Pullman, Julia Parmigian, 
LA Van Tazen, uh, did I miss anybody? City Shepherd from Basketball Days, uh, and many others who are not here, Catherine Tang, Sarah Judy Karras, Max Shears, John Hayes, all outstanding athletes. Lindsay Cook currently playing, Alex Marlowe who helped out this, uh, this evening set up, and uh, countless others, far too many to mention in four minutes. I would like to thank my family and friends in attendance tonight, my mom, my husband Henry, my stepson Chris, and daughter Sophia, Peg and Hank Magua, and my sister-in-law Claire DeRosa. Our friends Larry and Becky Amos, Larry was the best man in our wedding, who speaks said most of my friends marry trophy wives. Henry marries a wife with a lot of trophies. <laughs> I didn't really play in games, but that's what the team spirit is about. You know, everybody is going to make a difference. So what I truly remember were those glorious practices on fall days here at Wheaton, walking around with my field hockey stick. And I'll tell you, I'm a little bit of a glutton for punishment as a goalie, so what I really marvel at and remember so vividly was doing practicing corners Mm -hmm. and practicing penalty strokes, which I loved to do. My father running up and down the sidelines, screaming at what felt like the top of his lungs, Go Big J! <laughs> and 18-year-old me would wince and be like, I hope they can hear him say that name. <laughs> you know, and then I hope it doesn't follow me off the field. Well, I'm 49 now, and thanks to Betsy Brown, I'm still called Big J. <laughs> so... Thank you, Wheaton College, for all that you have done to make me a player that I am, and a person. And thank you for this great honor to see you. Obviously, as a baseball alum, it was all those experiences being on the first team to win a New Mac championship, first baseball team to go to a tournament, but it was also those other things, that, that 97 softball team that Kim was a part of. Um, I still remember that first game of the opener. At, we were hosting the regional, and we all painted our faces. Um, four or five of the baseball guys, and it was poster paint, not face paint, which didn't work out so well. But that enthusiasm when they when they won the regional and made the World Series, when that soccer team went to the playoffs in '97, the first time the uh, track and field team won a national championship. I mean, we didn't have in terms of success the four years I was here as much as they had right after I left. But those were the first teams to start to get the ball rolling. Obviously, '83 field hockey, '94 women's basketball, '86 women's lacrosse. We're the pioneers in that, but for us it was getting to see the, the, the rewards of all of Chad's hard work and all those alums before us that put in that time. I mean, we, we got to live it and, and see it continue on. To meet four of our, our inductees who were prior to my time here, our 83 field hockey team, who I've always had great admiration for, for really being pioneers of NCAA success for us. And then, of course, my, my classmate Kim Sears, my teammate Kristen Orphia. I mean, Chris, I was there when he was a recruit here. Um, and when he showed up, and it's funny, Chad told the story about him being a shortstop. I remember him in his orange glove that he bought brand new and had to go buy a new outfielder's glove. And all these stories that, that come out from that and Amber, um, it's awesome. And it's awesome to be a part of it. I'm so humbled that I can be the guy that introduces individuals and be a part of the whole process.